The lifespan of an ash tree can be from 30 years to 300 years. There are 45 to 65 types of ash trees. Emerald ash borer is an Asian beetle that destroys the vascular system of the tree and induces quick death. Most people recognize that trees are being killed and hurt by the way they look and grow, but the reasons are not very well known. Manager of Forestry and Horticulture in Cambridge, Brian Geertz, explains about this current problem. A current pest we're dealing with is emerald ash borer. So that's an introduced insect from China. Um, in its native environment, it, it is not a damaging pest. So no one had studied it there. It was just a, a background insect in the, in the world of you know, millions of different types of insects. But when it was introduced here, by accidentally, it, it burrows into the, the wood as it, or the, the edge of the tree. Not only does EAB reside here, but also within kilometers from here. Manager of the Arboretum at the University of Guelph, Rick Jordan, explains. It was first uh, really discovered in about 2002 in, outside of Windsor um, in, in Canada. It was in the States uh, for a few years before that. And so in about a decade, 12 years or so, it has progressed this far. And in fact, it's being found up in the Sioux, Montreal, Ottawa area. When EAB was discovered, they estimated that it had already been around for about six years and they were unable to contain it. Geertz explains the common way native bugs make their way into Canada. Accidentally brought in here as part of wood packaging on a, on a skid or pallet or dunnage. They use uh, logs to brace low inside a container ship. They use logs inside to brace the load so they don't shift. And those logs often have the bark still on them. It's just a cut tree that they wedge in there. So though that material is not treated at so that's a, a good avenue for insects and disease to be brought in accidentally. How was EAB found though? Professor at the School of Environmental Sciences, University of Guelph, Gard Otis has the insight. It was founded in Detroit, what they noticed was trees dying, and they obviously had been dying for a while, but people, uh, I guess, didn't look to see what was killing them. And then as soon as they looked and looked, they could see the bark falling off, and you can see all the galleries of the beetles under the bark. They make these little S-shaped galleries, and the trees were just riddled with them and with holes where the beetles had come out. So it was very obvious that this was an insect, and then they chased it down and discovered that it was this beetle from Asia. Around here, it's only been recently discovered, but it was known that EAB was on its way. Other communities, like here around Guelph and Kitchener and Cambridge, we've known this thing is coming, we've been watching it spread, we've seen it get to Toronto, we knew we were going to get it fairly soon. Usually we find it a little before we thought we would. Um, in Guelph, they hadn't found any. They put up traps to see if they would potentially catch any, and the traps Every one of them had beetles in it last year. So they're all through the city, and this year we're going to start seeing a lot of trees dying. We've, we've seen a few over the last few years, but now they're going to reach the point where lots and lots of trees are dying. Ash trees used to be as common as the maple tree and oak tree, but with this beetle haunting over them, they struggle to hold on. Ash trees are used to make things like wooden baseball bats. Hundreds of these trees reside at the Arboretum in Guelph. Otis explains how they are keeping these trees protected. Now we're left with treatments with chemicals. And there are, I think, three chemicals registered for use in Canada and Ontario that you can inject into the tree trunk and they take taken up by the tree and then it kills the beetles that are in the tree and it protects the tree. Unfortunately, their future doesn't seem so bright. For Spoke TV, I'm Kate Leahy.